What's going on, everybody? You know where we are. We're at the beach, and the moon is just rising over the horizon. I'll zoom in and show that to you a little bit. Uh, it's going to be fuzzy, but look at that. It's there. Gorgeous half moon coming through the clouds and just about to light up the sky here on the beach. But that's not why I'm doing this video. It is mating season for the horseshoe crabs, and boy, they are everywhere. And if you've never seen them before, you're about to see a lot of them. So, horseshoe crabs, I've just done a little research. Um, they're actually not crabs, um, even though if you were to look at the underside of them, they have uh, the pinchers on them. They have, uh, like, every leg has a pincher on the end of it. Um, and in any event, they are in a classification, I believe the correct word is pronounced uh, Limulidae. You'll have to look that one up on your own. So <clears throat> I've actually never seen them on this part of the island before. They're usually down at the other end. But um, what will happen is, is the smaller crabs, this is actually how they die. It's, it's quite unfortunate. The males are the little ones. So here's a male. Um, and a female and and as they try as they try to move they get themselves buried in the sand or flipped over like this guy and all you know if you come along all you have to do is bam and then they'll figure the rest out on their own so here we got another male he uh he's he, he needs a flip there he goes so they'll actually grab on to a female and they the they will a lot of the times both unfortunately end up submerged in the sand and they can't get out and when the tide goes out and the birds and other predators come along uh, they got themselves a nice treat now if I could find one that's flipped over I'll give you a closer look um, these things are absolutely fascinating a lot of times you can find their shells just the shell uh, out on the beach and look at all these guys they're everywhere so you can find them uh, a lot out on the beach and um, here we go so yeah let me give you a good look at the inside of a, of a male here um, try not to get wet in the process but yeah he's trying really hard to get um, to get flipped over let me uh, pop in on him there we go so yeah, you can see at the end of each leg, they have pinchers, they have a huge tail. Uh, this tail is very powerful. Um, and they can whack you with that tail, um, you know, if you, get, um, if you get too close and you definitely don't want to step on it. So, so, this is a, uh, so this is a female here. So I'm actually gonna pick her up by the tail, flip her around. Um, the tail muscles are, are very strong. So I learned the females can actually lay between 60, 60,000 to 120,000 eggs. So we're gonna let that female go off and do her thing. And let's keep on going down the beach. Look at all these guys, man, they're everywhere. Let's pull back out of just a pinch. Still see that moon coming up, but I don't have the gear <laughs> to, to make it look nice and pretty. A lot of times you'll see these guys with barnacles. This, um, this one right here, this, this male is full of live barnacles and he's actually, uh, doesn't look like a very old male. Um, here's another one with even more live barnacles on him. So yeah. Now their eyeballs are actually covered by the shell. Um, and you can see this guy right here looking at you. That's a male. He's, uh, <laughs> he's, uh, they don't have the friendliest looking eyes for, uh, <laughs> unlike some of our other friends of the ocean. So yeah, they're, they get all flipped around, but, um, I'm really surprised that they're on this side of the island. Um, it's actually kind of a, a treat to get to see, to get to see them. Um, and then when the tide goes out, if they don't go out with it, then uh, you'll see trails. Uh, they leave the, they, they almost don't seem to have a sense of direction because they do a lot of looping back around in circles. 
as they're heading or trying to find their way back to the water. So yeah, this is incredible. So a female would lay between 60,000 to 120,000 eggs. Um, I don't think this species is going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> so yeah, here we have, again, all these are horseshoe crabs. Um, as long as you keep, I mean, they can't travel very fast. They're, they're really, really slow, slow tr uh, movers. Um, but if you get close to one and you see it flipped over, belly up, be nice and flip them back. <laughs> they won't hurt you. You can flip them back by the tail. Also, if you see one stuck in the sand, then you can usually grab them um, and gently by the tail, like these two right here. They're, they're pretty stuck. So you've got the fem female down there and she's trying as hard as she can to, to push through this thick sand, uh, but it's just not gonna happen. So what I'll do is, is I'll take the male right here, try not to get wet again, <laughs> and stung by a jellyfish. Boy, this video is gonna have all kinds of fun. So I'll pull them both backwards. So now the female, we're gonna let her get out. Ah, I just can't get out. <laughs> okay, oh, actually, she's doing a good job. She's making her own way. Okay, look at that. So, yeah, she's pushing through the sand. But that's how they, that's a, a good way uh, for them to get killed is, uh, is getting stuck in the sand. But she's using her tail right down there. She's using that tail to help. Um, prop herself up so she could get out of that sand pit so she's one of the lucky ones there goes the male he's off to find somebody else here's another couple that's stuck this I mean again it's unfortunate but there's not much you can do about it you can't you you see how many of these guys come out here um, during mating season and you really you can't save them all um, it's hard and you want to but um, best thing to do is just let nature take its course and just enjoy the uh, enjoy the view because if you ever do see these things flipped over their anatomy on the inside is it's absolutely awesome um, they have so many uh, moving parts to see and it's really cool yeah this lady here she's stuck but she's trying to get out there she goes hey oh she's getting so close <laughs> she's getting so close all right, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. We've already gone on eight minutes of horseshoe crabs, and I think that's about enough. <laughs> I think that's about enough. Um, there's one guy trying to get into the water there. Another girl coming out. She's just about free. All right, cool, very cool. And there's that moon. Let's see if we can pinch in on it just, just really quickly. We're going to see if we can get in, get a nice view of the red moon through the clouds. <laughs> yeah, I can't get the definition on it, but it certainly is a beautiful sight out here tonight. Hey, everybody. That's going to do it from the beach on St. Simon's Island. Hope you enjoyed learning just a little bit about horseshoe crabs. I'm sure there's a lot more to learn, but that's just the basics. And uh, so with that, I'm going to say adios and sayonara from the beach on St. Simon's Island. And uh, just like this crab, well, she just went away. He just went away. Here we go. Here we go. We'll, we'll send it off with, uh, with just one more. <laughs> one more pair. There we go. All right, so there's one last happy couple. <laughs> and from the beach on St. Simon's, everybody, take care of yourselves, yeah? Take care of each other and have yourselves an awesome day, night. This is uh, Friday night, so if you see this, have a great weekend. And we'll see you next time from the beach. <laughs> All right.